Good afternoon. Gosh, what time is it? It's 3.20 p.m. and it is Friday. Friday dance. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> That'd be better than music. And somebody does whoop, whoop, much better than me. Doesn't matter. This is about our chimpanzee week. So a judge said had a habeas corpus. <laughs> this is a big deal for a chimp. Chimps have been stuck in cages and used as research um, uh, objects for centuries. National Institute of Health today uh, recognized that habeas corpus <laughs> and um, is releasing 300 and then 500. That's how many chimps or anything that was primate was at is at the National Institute of Health who I depend on <laughs> and you know you never know who you're in bed with <laughs> makes me worry anyway um, this lighting that is driving me crazy anyway I'm giving you two sanctuaries and I believe one is in Louisiana and the other one is here in my state ran by my own favorite Auntie Kim Auntie Kim has um, one of the best vets specialists I know as far as being able to be a technician and be an assistant to a veterinarian. She can probably do any surgery if she had to in an emergency. She is the best. She loves horses. She rescues horses too. Her husband, I think, even built her another barn. She has a feral barn for cats. And she also works at the sanctuary. You'll see the sanctuary. I mean, come on. you got to love the sanctuary, right? <laughs> we have um, Hope Love Home Sanctuary. And it is in um, the northwest, of course. Not very far from me. It's about two or three hours. And they have, how many do they have now? The, the Annie, Burrito, Foxy, Lady. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think they have about seven or eight. But anyway, I, I encourage you, if you understand exactly that a monkey just isn't a monkey, and an ape just isn't an ape, and not all of them look alike. <laughs> we can all can come to one conclusion. We've got to stop mistreating everything in our world. From our air, to our highways, to our own homes. To the living beings around us that we recognize as cute. And Cheetah, who by the way lived to be 78. He was... He was old, and um, and realize that these wonderful creatures are very, very intelligent. Now, something about the chimpanzee that people don't realize: if you, it, it would be worth it to watch Chimpanzee Island, which is on Animal World. Oh gosh, every now and then. it's hard to catch it. But it is one of the most fascinating programs to watch because it is an island just for chimps. It is, you know, secure there for them. And they try to keep them uh, separated by ages. I'll tell you why. Because some get jealous, especially the males. And the chimpanzee is the one animal that knows how to contemplate and plan murder. Most people don't realize that. They are capable of killing and thinking about it before they do. Very human quality. Uh, quality. <clears throat> Behavior. Anyway, um, these apes are in these preserves for preservation to keep them safe. Um, they're retired. Now we'll open up more of these huge places and hopefully 
you know, get some things straight. It's like, you know, Woodland Park Zoo, um, we lost our elephants, which we should have. Um, and they're being sent to an elephant sanctuary. Uh, I don't know if they're sending to the one in Louisiana or there's another one, I think, somewhere in the Carolinas. But it's huge, gigantic, thousands and thousands and thousands of acres to roam around on and be an elephant. So, anyway, what they're doing with these chimps um, is basically treating them with the respect that they should have had in the first place. Our world is not, is not safe. It uh, is much safer <laughs> when Rome was having their tantrum of having to take over every country. That's something I thought I'd never say. Um, it, it's really bad when you can't be in your own territory in the Congo, in the savannas, or anywhere without being hunted for pelts, for paws, for eyes, for ears, doesn't matter, or taking your little ones away, killing you, and selling the babies on the black market. I can go through the newspaper today and find in the through black market chimpanzees, baby bobcats, um, was it a cheetah? I'm not sure. But anyway, you can get these animals black market. It's got to stop. How do you stop it? Well, they arrest them, they bust, and then they turn around, let the animal go where it goes, and then it gets caught again or gets killed. Anyway, what ends up happening is the population starts dwindling, and then extinction takes place. You know, and it's man caused. Yes, it is our fault. Definitely. Um, so, anyway, I, I really encourage you if you. I donate, you know to friends, which does dogs, horses, cats, pigs, all kinds of things in Kanab, Utah. I also do United States, uh, the um, Humane Society of the United States, but not the one in D.C. I do the one in my local area. You can do the one in D.C. too. You can do all of them. Um, also Posado, which is a fantastic shelter. I only use no-kill shelters because there's no reason to kill a good animal. What? Because you're moving? No. Um, you don't put down a cat because the cat's urinating over the house. You take the cat to a vet that will take it in and retrain it behaviorally. This is how you do it. So, it, it's fascinating. Um, but Auntie Kim has taken care of my bobcat when Al was alive. Had him for 17 years. And she was with me with Gage. And um, now I just get to see her when I pop in to see Doc Wendy. If she's there, you know, she'll still come over the mountain to help Doc Wendy. She's dedicated to um, animals, you know. And she's very good at what she does. She's one of the best. So, um, on that note, thought you should know about it. Get on with this vid. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Bye. Jeez. How where? Hell. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Oh, Lorsh. You never, never trust a chimpanzee that hit the camera. Oh, there I am. <laughs> I couldn't see you, but they could see me. It's always been that way. Peekaboo.